Hi there, Ryan Rastel here for Golfshake.com and today we're taking a look at the new XP1 driver from Honma. So Honma, uh, many of you won't have even hit a Honma golf club before, but they are brilliant. And we're gonna try this new driver, XP1, as I've said. Some new tech been introduced to the W slot there in the driver, helps with those heel and toe uh, miss hits to help get the ball back on target and also maintain the ball speed. We can see the weight low and back in the head as well to help promote slightly higher launch, um, but low spin as well. Uh, many of you won't know, Honma make all their own shafts. So this one, um, uh, the Vizard shaft that they make is, uh, this is extra stiff, slightly on the lighter end. Um, so we should start seeing it a little bit higher launch than maybe I'm used to, but um, we're gonna give it a hit. We're gonna try it on the Trackman 4 here at Howley Hall in the Performance Center and see how it goes. So sitting it down beyond the ball, um, it's a bit more of a kind of triangular sort of shape than I'm used to. Um, and sits almost a little bit draw bias, which I think this is what this driver is trying to help a, a little bit as well. Um, but sits, sits really nicely behind the ball. I like the contrast between the face and the, the crown there as well. Um, so let's give it a hit and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, we can see really high launch, but... I would expect, you know, if it was a draw bias, I'd expect a little bit more movement from right to left, and it certainly hasn't done that, really. If anything, it's just helped to, um, to get the ball moving a little bit in the air for me, but we can see on that first hit, we've got a nice high launch. Um, it's a little bit higher spin than I'd normally get, but um, again, this is aimed at that player that probably wants to get that ball up in the air a little bit more and needs that little bit of help. So let's just hit a couple more. I mean, the ball speed off the face is really quick. We can see we've got one there, much lower spin. Hit that a little bit more out the middle of the face for a change. Um, but yeah, we can see that one distance wise is pretty good as well. So carry 292, gone 316. So that, that's good. I mean, that's what I would expect with my own driver, really. It's, it's pretty much uh, what I'd get out of there. This shaft, incidentally, it's a shaft none of you will have ever probably used or hit before. Still feels really nice and stable. And it's, it's quite light as well, so you feel like you can get a little bit more speed with it. Certainly feels really good off the face. It's nice and solid. Um, the first one I hit a little bit out the toe and you could really feel that channel kind of trying to help that a little bit. Um, so even on those off center hits, we're getting decent ball speed and it's also going nice and straight as well, which is good. Um, so for that player who maybe wants to get, like I say, get the ball up in the air a little bit more, needs maybe a little bit more ball speed and maybe doesn't hit the middle of the face all the time, which I certainly don't, as you've seen by those three, um, this driver is certainly one to consider, have a look at. So that's the XP1 driver from Honma. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching on YouTube and you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down there as well. Give us some feedback. Have you hit this driver? Have you ever tried Honma equipment before? Let us know. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you all very, very soon.